the author says, May Allah have mercy upon him. Surah to Shams, the Quranic chapter called As Shams, the Sun, S U N. Makkiyah, it's a Meccan surah. Wahiya Khamsa Ashrata Ayah, it consists of 15 verses. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Wa Shamsi wa Duhaha. I swear by the sun. That's God swearing by whatever he wills. And by its duha, bo'iha, its light, its brilliance. I swear by the sun and its brilliance. Ida ashraqat wa qama sultanuha. When the sun rises and takes its domain, which is the daytime. The daytime is the sun's domain. The nighttime is the moon's domain. And the moon, meaning and by the moon. When it follows it. When it follows it, when the moon follows the sun, tabi'aha fi dhiya'i wa nur. Yani, it comes after it in being luminous. Wa thalika fi nisfi al awwali min al shahr. And that will be in the first half of the month, the lunar month. Yakhlufu al qamaru shamsa fi nur. The moon will come after the sun in brightness. And by the daytime. Yani, and the daytime, meaning and by the daytime. When it manifests it. When it manifests it. When the daytime manifests, shows out the sun. Yani shows the sun out. Jalla shams wa azharaha. It exposes it. When nahari ida jallaha. And by the daytime, when it exposes it, exposes the sun. Lira'een exposes it to those who can see. وَذَلِكَ عِنْدَ انْتِفَاخِ النَّهَارِ وَمْ بِسَاطِهِ That's when the daytime spreads out. لِأَنَّ الشَّمْسَ تَنْجَلِي فِي ذَلِكَ الْوَقْتِ تَمَامَ لِنْجِلَاءِ Because the sun is most bright at that time. وَقِيلَ الضَّمِيرُ لِلظُّلْمَةِ And it was said that here, this pronoun, جَلَّاهَا and by the daytime, when it exposes it. So this ha means it. We just said it is the sun. And Nesafi says, And it was said that it is the darkness. Only dunya, or it is the world, lights up the world. Only arub, or it is the earth. Wa illam yajidi laha dhikr. Even if there, even if it, the earth wasn't mentioned, though, or yani any of these things, a dhulma or a dunya. What have we mentioned here? Washamsi, the sun, waduhaha, and its light, according to this tafsir. Walkamar, ida talaha, and the moon when it follows the sun in brightness. Wanahar, and the daytime, ida jallaha, when it exposes it. 
what's it? The sun. And it was said that it is the darkness. Or it is the dunya, the world, or the, the earthly life, or yani. What we experience, like not up in the high heavens, for example, here in this realm. Or it's the earth. It is the earth. Although none of these things have been mentioned already. Although none of these things have been yet mentioned. Or have been mentioned. Why is he saying that? Because you don't usually just send a, a pronoun referring back to anything. Usually the pronoun is going to refer to something that you were talking about. You'd say, I saw Sam. I saw him in the store. So who's him? Sam. So would you say, I saw Sam. I saw him in the store and him is Fred. No. You say, where who's, where'd Fred come from in this conversation? So him must be Sam because that's the one you mentioned. So we said here, Jalaha exposes it. That's the sun. That's what we mentioned here. And it's feminine. Shams is feminine. Here, Jalaha. Well, Kamar, Kamar is masculine. It would have said Jalahu. And Nahar is masculine also. And Nasafi saying, it was said this pronoun refers to darkness. Or, Yani, when it exposes the darkness, or exposes the world, or exposes the earth. Although none of these things have been mentioned, though. So, firstly, he said, Waqila. So, it means it was said. When you say Qila, it gives the impression of weakness, but doesn't have to mean weakness. Doesn't have to mean what was said was weak, but it gives that impression. So, it is possible that you use a pronoun for something that hasn't been mentioned yet. كَقَوْلِهِ Like in another ayah when Allah says مَا تَرَكَ عَلَى ظَهْرِهَا مِن He did not leave upon its surface any any crawling thing or any creeping thing anything that traverses the face of the earth. So here, this pronoun is in the ayah. It's referring back to the earth without their, without the earth having been mentioned previously where this ayah comes from. And the reference for that ayah is not here, so I don't know it. And the night, yani, and by the night, when it covers it. Yasturu shams covers the sun. And then the horizons become dark. Now this first wow here in the surah was shams. It might to a beginner's eye look like that's wow that means and and the sun but that's a different wow that's wow al qasam that's the wow for swearing like when you say wallahi i swear by allah allah swears here wa shamsi i swear by the sun so and that's if he's saying this first wow here that's for swearing by agreement. And some said, this second wow is also for swearing. So according to that, the meaning would be, I swear, by, yani, the meaning would be, by the sun and by its light, not and. By the sun, by its light. There's no conjunction here. If this wow is not and... That means there's no conjunction here. So, 
If this wow means and, then the ayah is saying, Washamsi, by the sun, not and the sun. Waduhaha, and it's light. But if this second wow is a swear, like some said, then the meaning would be by the sun, by its light. If there's a conjunction in there, it would have to be an estimated one. But according to Al Khalil, this second wow is a conjunction. So the meaning is by the sun and its light. Okay, now he's going to talk some talk. We're going to skip. Then An Nasafi says, وَمَا مَصْدَرِيَةٌ فِي وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَاهَا He says, مَا is what's called a masdari particle. If you've been studying Nahu with us, then that's nice and clear for you. You're happy because you learned that. It should be clear for you. Ma here is a mustari particle. And I can't explain to you now what all of that means. But at the end of the day, what it means is that he's saying, therefore, this is what it looks like. Firstly, wasama and the sky, yani and by the sky, wama banaha, looks like when you see ma, first thing that comes to mind is what? So it looks like it's saying, and the sky, and what built it, and the earth, and what leveled it, and the soul, and a soul, and what proportioned it. He's saying, ma here is not that ma, the way I just translated it. The way I translated it now is not this, what the author's saying, mal mastaria. Basically, if this ma here in these ayat is this one that the author is talking about, then the meaning of these ayat is wabinaiha, yani wasamai, and the sky wabinaiha, and its construction, walardui, and the earth watahuiha. And it's leveling. وَنَفْسِمْ And a soul. وَتَسْوِيَتِهَا And it's proportioning. أَيْ بِنَائِهَا وَطَحْوِهَا وَبَسْطِهَا أَيْ بَسْطِهَا وَتَسْوِيَهَا وَتَسْوِيَةِ خَلْقِهَا فِي أَحْسَنِ سُورَةٍ عِنْدَ الْبَعْضِ So that's how you explain that according to some. But this is not the way to explain the ayah. Because it's coming in the surah that Allah says, And that's going to ruin the meaning of these ayat. Yani. That will debunk that this w this way is the right way. I will tell you when we get to it, inshallah. Lima fihi min fasadi nazum, because that's going to ruin the meaning. Wal wajhu an takuna mausula. The right way is that ma here is a relative nominal, a relative nominal. So that's a grammar term. So, it basically is going to translate as what? وَإِنَّمَا أُوفِرَتْ عَلَى مَنْ لِإِرَادَةِ مَعْنَ الْوَصْفِيَةِ So, if we translate it as what, like I already did, then the meaning would be, and the sky, and what built it, and the earth, and what leveled it, and a soul, and what proportioned it. So then you'd say, well, it sounds like you're referring to Allah as what? Can you do that? Well, for the Arabic, the word ma, Allah, 
according to this explanation, Allah referred to himself as ma in these verses. What? And then Anasafi explains, وَإِنَّمَا أُوثِرَتْ عَلَى مَنْ لِإِرَادَةِ مَعْنَ الْوَصْفِيَةِ Ma was preferred here in the ayah, and he was revealed instead of men, which means who, then it would say, and the sky, and who built it, and the earth, and who leveled it, and a soul, and who proportioned it. And that's clear, who is Allah. But what? Why is it ma then instead of men? Why is it mad that appears to mean what? Instead of men, that means who? Because this ma, when you use it this way for Allah, it has a connotation, which is that it has some lofty descriptions. It's like it is containing or it's receptive of some descriptions. Yani, ka'annahu qeel, as if it were said, وَالسَّمَاءِ وَالْقَادِرِ الْعَظِيمِ الَّذِي بَنَاهَا وَالسَّمَاءِ And the sky, وَمَا And what, meaning, and that powerful great one, who بَنَاهَا built it. وَنَفْسٍ وَالْحَكِيمِ الْبَاهِرِ الْحِكْمَةِ الَّتِي سَوَّاهَا And here, وَنَفْس and a soul, يعني, and by a soul. And what meaning and that wise, powerful, that wise one whose wisdom is obvious. The one who proportioned the creature. So that's what ma contains in these ayats, according to Imam al Nasafi. وَإِنَّمَا نُكِّرَتِ النَّفْسُ لِأَنَّهُ أَرَادَ نَفْسًا خَاصَّةً مِنْ بَيْنِ النُّفُوسِ وَهِيَ نَفْسُ آدَمِ And then here, وَنَفْسٍ Nafs is indefinite. The others are definite. وَمَا بَنَاهَا And what built it? That's definite. وَالْأَرُضْ And the earth وَمَا طَحَاهَا وَنَفْسِ And a soul وَمَا ثَوَّاهَا Why is that one indefinite? He says Because a particular soul was meant here. That's the soul of Adam. According to that, it means, and by a soul, that soul of Adam, and the wise one whose wisdom is obvious, who portioned that soul. كَأَنَّهُ قَالَ وَوَاحِدَةٍ مِنَ النُّفُوسِ so the way it is there, and a soul, is as if it's saying, and one soul out of all the souls, وَمَا سَوَّاهَا And what? Proportion it. أَوْ أَرَادَ كُلَّ نَفْسِ Or it's possible that nafs here is indefinite to give the meaning of every nafs, like we saw in some earlier surahs in this juzul. So that it means, and every nafs, every soul. Wa nafsin, and a soul, meaning every one of them. Wa ma thawaha, and what proportioned it. Wa tankiru lit takthir, kama fi alimat nafs. So in this case, the indefiniteness would be for multiplicity, actually. Just like the ayah we already studied. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسٌ مَا أَحْضَرَتْ A soul shall know what it has prepared, meaning every soul. فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Thus, he inspired it. 
فَأَلْهَمَهَا He inspired it. It is the nafs. The nafs. He, which is the soul. He inspired the soul. Who's he? Alhama, Alhamaha, he inspired it. Who's he? He is the one meant by man. What? That one with the lofty descriptions. And that's what Anasafi was talking about when he said, that first way is not the way. The right way is to say ma here is a noun. It's referring to Allah. Not that ma here is a mustari particle. Because if ma is a mustari particle and Allah is not mentioned in these verses, in other words, if ma here is not Allah in these verses, then when we get down here, فَأَلْهَمَهَا he thus inspired it, then ruins the meaning because became disorganized or uh, arbitrary, random, yani, not straight, not consistent. And he inspired it, the soul, the nafs, with its fujur. With its vice, that means its wickedness, its mischief. He is the one who inspires the soul with its mischief. And with its piety. He gives the soul its mischief and he gives the soul its piety. He made one know what is its obedience. What is the due obedience? Yani how to worship. What worship is the acceptable worship? And what is the disobedience? And he made the self understand that one type of deed, the obedience, is good. And another type of deed, the disobedience, is ugly. That's dis that's a quality by which Allah made us different from animals. Because the animals do not make this distinction. And it's not correct to say that the human is an animal. The human is not an animal. So one might say, what is he then? The answer is, he's a human. That's what he is. That's the type of thing he is. It's not an animal. I was in conversation with someone who was arguing. Yani, not just me and him. There's people. So somebody was arguing that we're animals. And I told him, if you want to be an animal, that's you. I'm not an animal. So he didn't like that at all. Subhanallah. And successful is whoever purified it. Jawabul Qasam. This is what's being sworn about. Washams by the sun. Successful is whoever purifies the soul. What's meant is that there is a lamb here. You're going to find that falling in the answer of a swear a lot. So where's the lamb at? If this is the answer to the swear, because that's going to be common. You're going to find what's being sworn about with that lamb there. That's called the lamb that falls in response to a swear. So why isn't that lamb present here if it's falling in response to a swear? Call as Zajaj. As Zajaj said, 
sara pulu al-kalami iwadan an al-lam all the lengthy talk before getting to this word qad aflah replaces that lamb allah swore all the way at the beginning of the surah wa shamsi wa duhaha by the sun and its light wal qamari idha talaha and by the moon when it follows the sun in its brilliance wan nahari idha jallaha and by the daytime when it exposes the sun wal layli idha yaghshaha and by the night when it covers the sun wasamaa'i wa ma banaaha and by the sky and by what built it wal ardi wa ma tahaaha and by the earth and by what leveled it wa nafsi wa ma sawaaha and by a soul and what proportioned it فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا And thus inspired it with its mischief and its piety. Now finally comes what's being sworn about. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا Successful is who purifies the soul. So as the judge is saying, because of how long it took to get to the answer of the swear or, or well, because of how long it took to respond to the swear the lamb was omitted all the lengthy talk replaced the lamb itself waqila al jawab mahzuf and it was said that the response to the swear is actually omitted it's not present وَهُوَ الْأَظْهَرُ And that's what's more prominent. That's the more likely explanation Imam al-Nasafi is saying. تَقُدِيرُهُ لَيُدَمْدِمَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ And what it would be is Allah will indeed demolish them. أي على أهل مكة meaning the Meccans لتكذيبهم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم for their contradicting the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم كما دم دم على ثمود Allah would demolish them or could demolish them like he did to ثمود لأنهم كذبوا صالحا because they belied صالح so it means the Meccans are doing like Thamud, Quraysh, tribe of Quraysh is doing like the tribe of Thamud. The tribe of Thamud had Prophet Salih. The tribe of Quraysh has Prophet Muhammad. The tribe of Thamud, well, they were destroyed. So Allah swears, and what's being sworn about, and Nasafi is saying, is not actually mentioned. And what that is, is that Allah would destroy those Meccans. وَأَمَّا قَدْ أَفْلَحْ Then if that's what's being sworn about, then what's قَدْ أَفْلَحْ فَكَلَامٌ تَابِعٌ لِقَوْلِهِ فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا It's just continuing the flow from فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا So according to that, that this is not the thing being sworn about, then basically the meaning is وَالشَّمْسِ وَضُحَاهَا By the sun and by its light وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا And the moon, yani, and by the moon when it follows the sun and its brilliance وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّاهَا And by the daytime when it exposes the sun وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا and by the night when it covers the sun. 
وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا And by the sky and what built it. وَالْأَرُضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا And by the earth and what leveled it. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا ثَوَّاهَا And by a soul and what proportioned it. فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا and thus he inspired it with its mischief and its piety. And then just continuing to flow from there without being a response to the swear, it's continuing to talk about the soul. So when did the soul come in? By a soul and by what proportioned it? فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقُوَاهَا And thus he inspired it with its vice and its piety. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا Victorious or successful is whoever purifies it. And then keeps going. وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا so according to that, Qad Aflah is not what's being sworn about. So if that's not clear, let me know, please. Okay. Uh, okay, so you said it's not clear for you. Let me see something here. I'm just sharing with you here Tafsir of Juz Amma that we translated. You might have the book you're following along. So look here. Washamsi, there's the swear by the sun. Waduhaha and its light. Wal qamari ida talaha and the moon when it follows. Wanahari ida jalaha and the daytime when it manifests, when it exposes. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا And the night when it covers it. وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَاهَا And the sky and what built it. وَالْأَرُضِ وَمَا طَحَاهَا And the earth and what expanded it or leveled it. وَنَفْسٍ وَمَا سَوَّاهَا And by a soul and what proportioned it. فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقُوَاهَا First notice here. These first seven verses are full of swears. So we didn't yet get to what's being sworn about. And this is what we're looking for. What's being sworn about? So, is it eight? It's not eight. Eight's connected to seven. Seven introduced the soul to us. And a soul, and what proportioned it? And thus inspired it with its wickedness and its piety, the soul. So eight is not yet what's being sworn about. That's just uh, flowing from seven. How about nine? Is nine what's being sworn about? قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا Triumphant is the one who purifies it. Nasafi is saying, some of them said, yes, here, this is the, this is the response to the swear. That's what's being sworn about. He said, but, no, that's not really it. Really, nine is just flowing off of eight. And seven. Seven introduced the soul to us, and then we just flowed from there, still talking about the soul. And the soul, and what proportioned it? And thus inspired it with its wickedness and its piety. Triumphant is the one who purifies it. That's not what's being sworn about. That's just continuing the flow. And failed as he who indulged himself in sin. Yani. 
we'll see what Dessa means. So a ten, that's not what's being sworn about, because ten is coming off of nine. Kazabat Thamud by their transgression, the tribe of Thamud belied. Mm, so then where's what's being sworn about Amnesophy saying what it really is is something that's not there. The implication is I will meaning Allah I will and certainly demolish Quraysh and the Meccans. That's what's being sworn about. But it's not stated in any of these ayat. So that means then what we're saying is we have two sayings about what's being sworn about here. So according to a saying, what's being sworn about is that the one who purifies his soul is the triumphant one. And it's stated right there in the surah. It's the ninth ayah. And the other saying is that what's being sworn about is something that's not mentioned, which is that Allah would demolish the Meccans. Okay, back to the tafsir of an -Nasafi. He says, وَلَيْسَ مِنْ جَوَابِ الْقَسَمِ فِي شَيْءٍ So this, قَدْ أَفْلَحْ That's not a response to the swear in any way. مَنْ زَكَّهَا Whoever purifies it, طَهَرَهَا اللَّهِ وَأَصْلَحَهَا وَجَعَلَهَا زَاكِيَهَا so the way Anasafi explaining is explaining this ayah, it means triumphant is whomever Allah purified his soul for him. Triumphant is whom he purified his soul. He here means Allah. Triumphant is whom is who Allah purified his soul. وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّهَا And failed has he who دَسَّهَا وَتَدْسِيَهَ النَّقْصْ وَالْإِخْفَاءَ بِالْفُجُورِ يعني Diminished, who diminished and uh, depreciated his soul by sins and failed has who dasaha agwaha Allah failed has anyone whom Allah has misguided his soul and. Uh, yeah. قال عكرمة أفلحت نفس زكاها الله وخابت نفس أغواها الله عكرمة explained this what's here in this surah he's saying it means triumphant is a soul that Allah purified and failure a failure is a soul that Allah misguided and it's possible that it goes to the action of the slave, not to Allah. So that would mean triumphant is the slave who purifies his own soul. And failed has a slave who... Uh, Corrupted his own soul. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. What tadsiya to al naqsu al ikhfa'u bil fujur. The tadsiya meaning here, man dasaha, it means naqs, yani naqasaha, yani he diminished his soul or his self. Well, ikhfa'u bil fujur, and he uh, yani, he ruined it by 
vice, sins. Wa aslu dasa dasasa. Wal ya'u badalun mina sini al-mukarrara. Kathabat samudu bi taghwaha. Samud. Belied by their transgression. Bituriyaniha. Idil hamilu lahum ala takdibi turiyanuhum. Meaning, what motivated them to belie was their transgression. Idin ba'atha ashqaha. When. The most miserable of them got up. He got up to go hamstring the she camel. Ashqa Thamud, the most miserable of the tribe of Thamud, Qudar ibn Salif. His name's Qudar, son of Salif. He was blonde. Azraq, blue. So I don't know if that's his eyes or what. Qasir and short. But he was unapproachable, very mean person. And scary person. وَإِذْ مَنْصُوبٌ بِكَذَّبَتْ أَوْ بِالتَّغْوَى So is means when. When, when, what, when. Is it kathabat? They belied when? It could be. Then it means kathabat thamudu bi taghwaha idhim ba'atha ashqaha. Thamud belied by their transgression when their most miserable got up to hamstring the camel. Aw bi taghwa or if could be linked to taghwa. So then the meaning would be kathabat thamudu bi taghwaha idhim ba'atha ashqaha thamud belied by their transgression when so the when could be for they transgressed when their most miserable got up to hamstring the camel. فَقَالَ لَهُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ نَاقَتَ اللَّهِ وَسُقُيَاهَا And then the messenger of Allah, Salih, may peace be upon him, said to them, God's she-camel, نَصْبٌ عَلَى التَّحْذِيرِ It's accusative in grammar terms. Because of the meaning of being the subject of a warning. Meaning, beware not to hamstring this camel. And it's drink. So just the words alone, it's like he's saying. God's she camel and its drink. And the meaning is beware of this, watch out for it. It's like if you were to say the lion, the lion means watch out. So, the just thing is in Arabic, because the grammar signs show up at the end of the word, it's what makes it a little bit more significant. Al-Asad, Al-Asad, Naqata. You could have something like that in English when you say, The car means watch out. For example, the teacher, the dog. So he's saying, God, she camel and its drink. Stay away from it. But they belied him. Fima hazarahum minhu. They belied him about what he warned them from it. Which was that he warned them that the torture shall befall them if they do it. 
So they hamstrung it. A naqa. Meaning, the she camel. Asnad al fi'la ilayhim wa in kan al aqiru wahidan. Here, wa aqaruha, they hamstrung it. In this ayah, Allah put the deed on all of them, although it was truly only one of them who hamstrung the camel. Because in another ayah, Allah says, yani we knew it was one person who did it because in another ayah, Allah says, فَنَادَوْ صَاحِبَهُمْ فَتَعَاطَى فَعَقَرْ they summon their cohort. And so he he hamstrung. He did. He hamstrung the camel. So he's the one who did it personally, but that's a different surah. In this surah, Allah says, Fa'aqaruha. They hamstrung the camel. So what does it mean? It means because they're the ones, Liribahum bi. They accepted that from him. And they dispatched him. And like that is the case when you assist someone in kufr. If you help someone to commit kufr, you're going to be committing kufr too. Yani, if you knew that. If you assist the person in kufr, and then you're going to be responsible too for that kufr. فَدَمْدَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ And so their Lord demolished them. He leveled them. He flattened them. Ahlakahum halakasti asal. He destroyed them by extermination. Be them be him for their sin. Be seba be them be him because of their sin. Which was, their sin was, belying their messenger and hamstringing the she-camel. And so he leveled that tribe. And he made that uh, extermination cover all of them. It was equal in exterminating all of them. فَسَوَّدْ دَمْدَمَتَ عَلَيْهِمْ لَمْ يُفْلِتْ مِنْهَا صَغِيرُهُمْ وَلَا كَبِيرُهُمْ No one escaped it, not a child among them, nor an adult. وَلَا يَخَافُ عُقُبَاهَا And he, God, Allah, Fears no repercussion. وَلَا يَخَافُ اللَّهُ عَاقِبَةَ هَذِهِ الْفِعْلَةِ Allah does not have fear of any retaliation or uh, consequence for doing this. أَيْ فَعَلَ ذَلِكَ غَيْرَ خَائِفٍ أَنْ تَلْحَقَهُ تَبِعَةٌ مِنْ أَحَدٍ It means that Allah did that to them without being afraid of being held responsible for something. Yani. Kama yakhafu man yu'aqibu min al-muluk li'annahu fa'ala fi milkihi wa mulkihi. This statement here, I need to ask about it. And that's because Allah Ta'ala, He did what he will to do with his own possession in his own dominion. لا يسأل عما يفعل وهم يسألون He is not questioned about what he does. They shall be questioned. And this surah was also recited فلا يخاف فلا يخاف the fa instead of a wow and with some alteration of the vowels. Wallahu a'lam, Allah knows best. That's the end of Surah Tushams.